Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you being here today. I tell you, we had a lot of cooks going on for Memorial Day. This is Memorial Day, and we were going to do a lot of different things. And uh, I was out here cleaning a while ago, and I got stung by some yellow jackets. And I'm allergic to them, so had to take my medicine, had to sit down for a while, and they kind of cut cut into what I was going to do today. But we still are going to barbecue up some chickens. We're going to use the barrel house cooker. So stick around and see how we cook whole chickens on our barrel house cooker. I'm not gonna do just a whole lot to these chickens, but I tell you what, if you're not familiar with this barrel house cooker, you hang your meat in it. It does have a rack where you can lay things on it, but primarily it's for hanging meat, get good heat all the way around them. It does a great job. And the thing though, when you cook a chicken is, you have the problem of when you pick it up, these legs wanna hang down and hang out, and what do you do with the wings? All that cooks faster. So you have to tuck it all in together and make a nice little package. So you use uh, twine, they have butcher's twine that you can tie a bird up with and it kind of pulls everything in there together. So it's kind of like that and you don't, don't have so much uh, of hanging and it cooks more uniformly if you pull it together. Well, didn't have any twine with me today so I'm gonna show y'all how to do this if you do not have butcher's twine. So you just take your chicken and look down here on this back end. It's, it's got a lot of fat now, all I'm gonna really do is, is I am gonna pull off this fat, but I'm gonna leave that skin. Usually when I cook a, a chicken, and if y'all go back to some of my chicken videos, you'll see where I cut off this flap of skin. Today, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna leave that on there. That chicken's ready to go. I just got off the fat, so we'll take this other one, pull the fat off of it, and it, it pulls off pretty easy. If you have to cut it, you can, but there's that one. It's done, so let me show you how we truss up these chickens without any twine. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm simply going to first, I'm gonna season the inside of my bird. So I pick it up, I'm just gonna sprinkle, I'm gonna sprinkle my seasoning inside of this chicken. I want the seasoning to go down in there real good. That one's done, let's do this one on the inside. Shake it in there. Now, since we're trusting these, if you wanted to, you could actually uh, put some aromatics in there. You could put some onions or carrots or celery and, uh, and bind them up, and that would give it even additional flavor. Didn't do that today, but uh, now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to kind of season the back end of this bird so that it's seasoned when I uh, truss it up. I don't keep this area from not getting seasoned. I can season the rest of it after it's uh, together, but I wanted to kind of do this part before we get going. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut a slit in that skin right there. And then I'm going to come over to this other skin, kind of right here, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I have two nice sized cuts. I'm going to take my leg and cross it over this chicken and I'm going to push it inside of that slit that I just cut. If I can find my slit, I'll be all right. So I'm just going to take the leg now I'm going to poke it into that hole I just cut in the other side. Right there. Go all the way through. There we go. Then pull that other piece of skin out. Find your hole in it. Now I can cross this leg over the top. Now, the chicken's held together and those legs are tight. The next thing to figure out is what to do with these flopping wings. Some people will take them and you can actually kind of tuck them around and, and do them like that. But one way I like better is, is actually tuck them into the side. If you come in here in between your thigh and your breast, you just cut you a little hole in that chicken. What you can do is, is take your wing and poke it in that hole and that holds it in tight. So I'll show you on this side. Come in, kind of figure out where your wing's at. Cut your hole in it. And again, just shove the wing inside that hole. Now that bird is held together. So as you can see, we have a nice little package. It's nice, it's tight. When I hang it up, it's gonna be together much more. String would work better, but this is not a bad way to do it to hold those legs and wings in tight so it'll help you cook more evenly. 
I'm going to get this one done. We'll get back with you and show you how we get them on the pit barrel cooker. Now, I'll season these up, show you how we do that. Then we'll get them on that cooker. Just lay them on his breast, and I'm going to cover his back real good. And uh, this is just my basic seasoning. I pulled that wing out so I could season. There we go. Now I can tuck that back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this recipe down in the description box so you all can see how to make my chicken rub. That bird's ready to go. If you wanted to, you could coat them with oil. You could put uh, mustard. I use mustard as a binder a lot. I just uh, didn't grab it today. And I actually got stung in both legs. So my legs aren't feeling real good, and I did not want to get out and walk around. So I'm simply going to season these birds up and they are going to go on just like that tuck my wings back in on each side they're ready to go I'm gonna get the hooks in them show you how to do that uh, once we get the hooks in these we'll show you uh, how they get on the pit so actually I have eight of these I could daisy chain them these aren't real big these are just little small fryers about three three and a half pounds but I'm just gonna come in here and right beside the backbone, I'm going to put that hook in there, and I'm going to hang that bird just like that. Take the other one, same way. It's ready to go. Hoop, got to tuck my wing back in again. It popped out. They're ready to go. Let's get them on the pit. It's going to take this off, and it does have a little hook to hang it with, so... My H brace going inside. So now I'm just going to take my bird. I'm going to hang one on this side. This one, hang it on that side. And it's ready to go. Put the lid back on it. Push it down tight. Now we're going to let these cook. Uh, about an hour and a half, I'm figuring. Possibly two hours. But in about an hour, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to check them. And I'll put a uh, temperature probe in one of them so we can monitor the temperature of that breast. We're going to take it up to 165 degrees on that chicken. Make sure we kill any salmonella or anything on it. So the 165 is that target temp. We'll let it, let it go about an hour. Then we'll get in our temperature probe. And I'll give you all a peek when we come put the probe in in about an hour. We're a little over an hour into this cook. I'm going to take the lid off. Look at these chickens. They're looking pretty. Oops. Hang that up there. What I'm going to do is just pass my probe off my eye grill mini through the vent hole. And I'm going to pick this one chicken up, pull it out, and they are looking pretty. They might cook faster than I think they're going to. We're going to put it right there and monitor this temperature. And when they hit 165, we'll get them back out. Let me cover it back up. Let's see how long it takes for us to make barbecue. Birds are out. They are up to about 170 in the breast, maybe. Just going to pull the hook out. One hook held them just fine. Take this other one. Take that hook out. You can tell they're still pretty hot. Best to let these sit for a little while and kind of let the uh, moisture go back into the meat. But I do want to show these to you, see how they turned out. Just going to show you how moist this chicken's going to come out and how it looks. There we go. That is a pretty, pretty chicken breast. It is cooked all the way through. That looks beautiful. Take a little bit. See how it tastes. Chicken's moist. It's got great flavor. Tastes tremendous. I tell you what, can't compliment it enough. That barrel house cooker really encompasses it with smoke. Um, even though we didn't put a lot of wood chunks on there, there was there were some pellets on there. But overall, it just it just puts that smoky flavor because it's encompassing the inside that barrel. Uh, barrel house cookers, I love them. I tell you what, I've got a UDS I cooked on. Uh, used my competition chicken, came off of a UDS many times. The majority of the time, that's what we cooked our competition chickens on. But these barrel cookers do a fantastic job. So I hope you enjoyed this chicken. Get your barrel house cooker. Give it a try. If you've got a barrel cooker, put some chickens on there. Cook them whole. Remember how I showed you how to truss them up? 
without uh, without any twine. But also, I have a video on how to truss a chicken with twine. I'll put a, a link down in the description box with that so you can go and see how to tie that chicken up using butcher's twine. So either way I'll work. I uh, thank you much. I appreciate you stopping by here. If you like it, give me that thumbs up. Always do appreciate that. Remember to subscribe my channel, click the notification bell, tell your friends and family about us, and let them know what's going on Texas style barbecue and cuisine. And we're gonna see you down the road. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.